Recently, President Mohamed Buhari announced his intention to spend $1 billion on weaponry to neutralize Boko Haram. This is not a bad idea considering the president's military background. It is understandable that he sees this as a priority. However, we must understand that Boko Haram is not just a terror group. It is an ideology. The phrase itself means Western education is a sin. History has taught us that you cannot defeat an ideology with an army. And for that reason, the military option should be used only to contain the terror group. It must not be seen as the final solution. The military offensive also helps increase the risk of them gaining sympathy and further reinforcing their ideology. So what is the solution? You can only defeat an ideology with a superior ideology. Since Boko Haram means Western education is sin, we must convince them that Western education is not a sin and that it is not opposed to Islamic beliefs by offering them an educational ideology that incorporates the best of Islamic beliefs with the portions of Western education that do not contradict or offend Islam. Establishing more al majiri schools, which the previous administration encouraged, should continue, especially in the Northeast, where Boko Haram's ideology is strongest. We also need to counter the ideology by creating radio and TV programs which point out the many contradictions of their philosophy. Finally, we need to explain true Islam to them by pointing out that even the Quran says there is no compulsion in religion. If we do not do this and fight them with only the military option, we will continue to have endless insurgencies because guns can't kill ideologies. My name is Ben Murray Bruce and I just want to make common sense.